Hector. Today you're going to talk about cloud-based calendars and all the cool things that that entails. Well, I hope I'm not I mean, the only one talking. <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, I, I remember, I still remember, and this wasn't too long ago, when I said one of those little day planner books, right. you know, and now they're superfluous. And, a, and a lot of people still have them. I mean, there's a lot of old school people that like, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I still have Rolodex, but I still have a day planner. Because right. I'm telling you, the, the calendar, especially Google Calendar, just makes it so right. easy. Right. It follows you around. You get it on your, your phone, your laptop, right. wherever you are. Uh, and, and it really does help to plan your day. Well, the reality is a calendar right. is one of the things that actually has made civilization possible. Most people don't think of it that way. I thought it was beer. <laughs> well, beer, <laughs> beer kept them alive so that they could use oh, the calendar. Okay. That's what the oh, well, yeah, well, but actually, you need a calendar to know when to harvest grain that's and make right, the beer. That's right. So, yeah. so without the calendar, you wouldn't be pulling but, stuff out of the ground, right? You know, yeah. and all that kind of and We're going to talk about that, but before we do that, since yeah. this is a, our, our, a, one of the last shows on our 2016 calendar year, yeah. why don't you introduce our host for the yeah. episode? So um, if you want to call in and get your name claimed to fame for this week, uh, dial 213-943-3808. That's 213-943-3808. And on there, you could just ask us a question about the current subject or, you know, another question. And if we can't answer it on the air, we'll take it offline or something right. like that. Uh, but if you ask a relevant question, we'll let you, you know, talk about your website and so on real quick. Um, I want to talk real quick about our hosts, I mean, our, our guests. Or sponsor. The sponsor. What am I saying? <laughs> Brain dead. The sponsor, Vibrant Life Health Center, has been our sponsor for the last couple of years, actually. Right. And they have they're the premier Nutrimo Center in Jacksonville. Of course, they're a chiropractic center. And if you want to get the best chiropractic help, right, or you want to lose weight really quickly in a healthy way, yeah. they're the place to go. I mean, I know they're coming out with a book, uh, The Keys to Life and Balance, will be out here pretty soon. Uh, but their programs are phenomenal. I mean, if you have aches and pains and all kinds, you go to them and they will take care of you. And on top of that, if you really are overweight like I was, I got up, ballooned up to 208 pounds and I'm only 5'7", and they were able to help me get back down to like 170 in 40 days. And That's kept, really, really and cool. And you kept it off, And too. I kept it's it on. We just had Thanksgiving, and guess what? I ate two servings, right? and I lost a pound. That's because my metabolism has been reset. And one of the real neat things about... The Nutrimost program is that resets your metabolism yeah. to a much younger age. Well, well not only that, it determines what foods are your trigger foods. Because not everybody, right. you know, like bread is one of your trigger right. foods. Well, on Thanksgiving, believe it or not, I didn't eat the bread this time. Right. But I ate a lot of the other stuff. I didn't eat cranberry. Okay. I know it's one of my trigger foods. Oh. Okay, so those kinds of things can really be helpful. But I had extra servings of the squash and the three bean and the turkey. And I had ham and I had some mashed potatoes, which didn't seem to have an effect. Heck, yesterday I ate two pieces of pizza and my dinner, uh -huh. and I still lost a pound. Wow. But I had ballooned up because the day before I had eaten a bunch of pumpkin pie. So I ballooned up two pounds, but I lost the, I lost the two pounds very quickly. That's what's really cool about this. this it's yeah. like you're a kid. You can eat all you want, and then yeah. you go and but play. It, and but you it's real way. food. You're not eating a lot of crap. You're That's not buying right. box stuff. Right. Or, you I'm, know, not special buying, recipes. I'm not buying right. pre-made stuff or anything right. like that. So if you really want to find out about this program, go to their website, VibrantLifeHealth.com. Really cool stuff. You can sign up for a free appointment. They have a free t uh, Titron scan going on right now right. and a special on their other program. And you probably just missed their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. They had some killer deals that, that they had on there. Anyway, back to the magic of the uh, using a cloud-based calendar. So calendars have been around for a long time. Um, probably invented, you know, because nobody really knows exactly, the mm -hmm. Bronze Age. Right. They know the first calendar they ever found was in the Bronze Age, which was when we invented writing right. and how to use metallurgy. So right. we use metals for doing stuff, you know, yeah. swords and all that kind well, of Well, of course, stuff. that was, that was uh, you know, in, in the... Uh, Babylon and all that kind of stuff. Well, we're going yeah. back. <laughs> but, I mean, but I mean, also, I mean, uh, the Maya had their own calendar, right? right? I mean, so everybody has, there's a whole well, bunch of different calendars. I remember, you a calendar and remember you don't we did a calendar show in 2012 when right. the world was supposed to come right. in. And it didn't come to an end. Yeah, but the calendar well, we, was important. Well, actually, it did. They just didn't tell you. Yeah, they didn't tell us. <laughs> well, although, if you were a Democrat, you, yeah. you probably think that the world came to an end recently. <laughs> this is true. Because uh, I see them all there protesting in the street that the world has come to an end. Anyway, the current calendar that we have today is based on the Gregorian calendar, which right. was, you know, Emperor Gregorian or whatever, that, or the, not Emperor, um, the guy who's in, I can't think of his name. But anyway. It's based on that, and today's calendar has just been modified a little bit right. from that. 
But the real thing about a calendar is without a calendar, you can't do agriculture very well because you don't know when to plant and when right. to harvest and all the other kind of stuff. You can't do commerce very well because scheduling is right. critical for good commerce. And one of the reasons the United States is the leader in the commerce in the world is because we can schedule the movement of goods and yeah. services all over the place. True. And then it's hard to celebrate the seasons if you don't know when the seasons are. Right. Or when your child's birthday is or any of these other kind of, you know, community social events right. that the calendar allows us to make. So doing these things can make a big difference for our lives. And then all you've got to do is learn how to use a calendar that, can, that you have convenient access to, access to at all times. Right. And that's what the, you know, the, the flip pages were that we used to use. Right. They calendar things. But now you can have a calendar that's not just tied to you, but right. it's shared. Yeah. I'm not whoever you want to share. It. You, you know, Julius Caesar invented a calendar too. Of course, it didn't work out too well for him. No, no, they they, they killed him <laughs> in March. Actually. It's in March. Uh, but that's why he gets invented a calendar. That's right? right. Actually, the Gregorian calendar is partially based on the Julian calendar, and so on. And even what we use today, a lot of the names of the months, right? Like Augustus is August, and Julius right. is July, and so on. Well, it's the same thing with the days of the week. You know, there's yeah. a lot of them. Like Wednesday is Woden, right? Day, uh, Thursday, right? Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. That, they, they sort of borrowed that from the Islandics, you know. Yeah, so I mean, you'd yeah. be surprised how much, uh, uh, you know, well, all this old stuff is in goes, a lot of goes stuff. way yeah. back, okay? So, anyway, we're looking at the calendar, and right. we use uh, Google's G Suite of products. So that's what they renamed it like a month ago. It used, to be <laughs> it used to be their office suite, but now it's called G Suite. And the calendar is one of the best features of their products. I right. mean, they give you a free spreadsheet and PowerPoint and all that other kind of stuff. It's not called PowerPoint, but it does the same thing. But their calendar has been around for quite a while. Right. It's very, very powerful. And even the free one can be shared. So if you have a Gmail account, yeah. you have a calendar. Right. And with that calendar, you can share, you know, with your, yeah. your family and well, so on. And what I like is, like, for instance, let's say I've got somebody on the phone. Okay, what day do you want to do that? We find a time of day. And then I put their email address and it'll send them an invitation. Right. And if they have a, a... And they can confirm the invitation. And if so they on. have a Google Calendar, guess what? It updates their calendar. Right. So it's right there. Boom. Yeah. And it, it works actually with a whole lot of other products. Yeah. So you can actually take a Google Calendar and actually utilize it with Microsoft's Outlook, which has its own calendar. Yeah. Well, but you can Outlook actually synchronize those two. Cool. Okay. Guess what? If you have an Apple, right. you can do the same thing. So Google works with a lot of other people's stuff, and they were one of the yeah. first people to get into this shared idea, right. which is what Microsoft is really starting to push now. They're saying, right. hey, we're friendly with everybody. Right. Where before, they were like, there were swords and knives with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and, they don't and, go through that. And Apple, the same way. They were right. swords and knives with everybody. But now, they're all starting to realize, hey, you know, if we're not really friendly with everybody, That's right. you gotta collaborate. We're, 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 in a, we're in a niche, and we, niches go away right. you know, when, when you fall behind in technology or whatever. So the real cool thing about Google's calendar and all the other Google's problems, it's, it's, it's highly integrated into all of Google's things. So right. if you have uh, a Google Drive, right. it's, it's tied into that. And all the products and programs, and it, again, if you use Chrome, it's tied into that. <laughs> it's tied into all the Google stuff. So very useful product. If you want to look at some really cool articles that talk about this product, 19 Ways from Sunday, mm -hmm. I, I list four in the, in the, in the blog. A couple of you were to notice would be 16 little known Google Calendar features that'll make you more productive. And I'm a pretty avid Google Calendar user, and I discovered about 10 that I didn't know about doing the research for this. this Tell us a couple of them. Well, for example, you can set up custom calendars. Here's okay. a good one. So you know you can set up a day, week, month, and agenda. Right. But say you want, you want to see three days. Right. You can set it up so it only shows three days. Right. Or four days, or five days, or whatever. So those are one of the things you can do. You can import different kinds of things into the calendar. Right. So, for example, you can import. There's a bunch of pre-made holiday calendars and all right. those kinds of things. And then they superimpose on yours. Mm -hmm. um, the way you can communicate with other people's calendars. So we know you can share calendars. Right. And you can then color code individuals. You know, yeah, that's you really, like doing that. Uh, that's really <laughs> nice. I mean, as a matter of fact, the picture in the blog it's not my calendar, but that's what my calendar usually looks like. A yeah. bunch of different colors. Well, I mean, what I'll do, like, for instance, if I, if I know I'm going to book a, a meeting for both of us, I'll bring your calendar up, and right. then yours is like blue. Right. So you can always blue, and I'll see where it's good, and I'll put it in there, and I'll shut yours off, because then it just gets too busy. Well, what's really, <laughs> what's really neat is what you pick the color. So yeah. when I look at my calendar, it's different than Carl's calendar. He's blue on mine. Right. I'm red on mine. 
Yeah, I'm orange on And if I, it's a Boy Scout blue. event, I make that one green. Yeah. And if it's a family event, I make yeah. it orange. Well, what's nice so. is you can turn the other person's on right. and off so it doesn't like drive you nuts with right. all the crap they're doing. Yeah, so if my wife comes you in know? there and schedules yeah. something on there for me, I can see it. I usually leave them all on there because I don't I don't want to overschedule something. Yeah. Um, but again, if you got a 17-inch laptop like I have, you can get go big screen with it. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier to do that. There's an article that I think if you, if you have an Apple system, you want to look at this as this. Beyond Google Calendar, the Apple Calendar, and so on, because this one talks about Apple and Google working together and so on. Mm -hmm. But those links are on the page. Now, there's about a dozen things that are worth talking about that the Google Calendar does. Okay. But these same things pretty much also happen on Outlook. Right. Outlook's calendar or the Google iCloud calendar. And you want to use these as a checklist because there's many other calendars. These, there's, these aren't just the, the only ones out right. there. There's a whole bunch of cloud calendars out there. This is not something that just happened overnight. But this could be a checklist that you can use to make sure your calendar works for you. So I'll start with item number one. Is make sure that um, it can work with other people's calendars publicly and privately. So some of them will work publicly. Some of them will work privately only. Right. But it's nice to be able to have it both. So I can say, okay... This one calendar that I have, because you can have multiple calendars and then actually merge them together, which other people people don't know you can do that. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you can have your own <laughs> personal calendar, and then you can have your business calendar, huh. and then you can have them both superimposed on each other. Uh, Wait a minute, then you have to unchain me from my desk right. if I had personal life. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's one of the things I think that people ought to have. Right. Because most people do have a personal life and a business life and you they want to be able to Yeah, they think <laughs> they do. But they you know, but you want to see when they shade right. together. Right. Where, where do they lap? Yeah, well that's that's why you need all the color codes because you got so much going on for right. you. Well I mean, you know, I got the honeydew list when right. I got yeah. weekends coming, my wife is scheduling me to do stuff, that kind of things. So um you wanna have it where it can find time for you. So you go to the calendar, the Google calendar will let you go and actually look for a time. Uh -huh. Without having to bring up the calendar, you can say find one that's good for both of us. So if you both have a Google Calendar, it'll actually go out and find a match for you. There's a there's a little applet that you use to do that. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Um, you ha you can set up appointment block times, right? And then you can set up auto reject. So if somebody's trying to set an appointment for you, and you have it blocked out, you yeah. can have it auto reject that for them. Okay. So, so they'll say, oh, I don't, can't do it. Don't waste your time, right? Right. So that's, that's a pretty cool feature. A um, couple of my favorite things is you can add a Hangout. So you can schedule a Hangout so that you don't have to drive there to meet them. You oh, just, yeah, yeah. You just go in there. In fact, that's one of the cool things because as, as soon as you actually put the uh, calendar event together and you send it to them, it actually has it says right. join video. Right. So all they got to do, if you do want to spawn a Hangout, you just set it up and, and all I have to do at the time right. of the meeting is click on it. Right. And no, at, at no 2 o'clock no or whatever the time of the meeting, yeah. you click on it and they show up. And yeah. now you're face-to-face -face with your laptop or Saves whatever. Saves a lot of windshield time. Yeah. We've, so been, that, we've been using that a lot. Yeah, that's a really cool feature. I know. And some of the other ones have it, but it, it's not necessarily integrated into the programs. Um, here's another one that, that would, Google was one of the first to do this, is you can put in a location. Okay. And it's tied directly into Google Maps. Hmm. So if you bring up the calendar on your phone right, right. and click on that, it opens Google Maps, mm -hmm. and then you say, I need directions, drive. Yeah, well, normally, that's what I do once I book an appointment for somebody. You know, where are you? So, well, I'm going to send you this right. invitation, and all there, not only will have the address, but you can point, click, and bring up the map. Right. That's really handy. And the map, what's nice My about it. My game planner wouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, here's what's, what, I, what I really like about it. You, you want to make sure that all your, your cool calendar programs can work across all platforms. All platforms means laptop. Right. Tablet, right? Smartphone, smartphone, mm -hmm. refrigerator, whatever smart device, smartwatch, smartwatch, whatever whatever device you're using, you want to be able to cross platform to it. And again, I always put the location in all my appointments. So as soon as I get in the car, I bring it up on my phone. Okay. I press, you know, go to it. Yeah. Start the map. Put the phone up on my dash, right, right. and it tells me how to drive there. Cool. So that's a really cool feature to have. We're about at the middle of the show, Hector. Do you have any big bites for us this week? I got, well, I wanted to talk about primarily Cyber Monday. Okay. So this year, supposedly a record year. Right. $3 billion right. should have been done on buying yeah. yesterday. Right. I know. I uh, put in my contribution. Right. <laughs> and you, get, you get really good deals. Right. You know, free shipping. You know, it's like, There was all kinds of wait, stuff going you on. You lose, you lose. Right. And in fact, they said it was there was so much traffic 
There, there were several sites right? I locked up. <laughs> <laughs> and there were some cool things out there. So here's a couple of them that I saw that, that people were going to suck up. In the, and it's like the Elmo of this year. Right. You know, when the Elmo, you couldn't get the Elmo right, or whatever. Right, right. Well, this year's is like Nintendo Classic Console. Right. So they have come up with this miniaturized Nintendo console that was selling for 60 bucks. Now if you try and buy it, it's like 300 or something probably. Yeah. But for 60 bucks, it had all the classic games built into it. So you just hook it up to your TV, and boom, you have all the classic games. So anybody was just stuck on, you know, uh, Donkey Kong and Gala and all these other games that were back then, you know, 20 years ago. You get your fix. Yeah, so you can get your fix for 60 bucks. Yeah. And you don't have to buy any cartridges or nothing. They're all built into the system. Wow. So, so well, technology's changed a little bit. Now, the, <laughs> the trick part is finding one of those. Right. Because I looked online, I couldn't find one. Yeah. Now, on Cyber Friday, I could find them, yeah. but they're, they've disappeared. So that was one of the cool things. As far as other gifts that people are giving, a couple of strange ones are uh, bots. Bots, right. you can assemble pre-made bots. There's all kinds of bots out there. Okay. Um, drones, all right. kinds of drones. As a matter of fact, you can get a Starship Enterprise drone. Oh, wow. That actually flies. <laughs> um, what else is on? There was a couple other. Uh, the Millennium Falcon uh -huh. that flies. Huh. And both of those are made by Airhog. They're pretty cool. And Airhog has a great new Airhog that's like, I don't know, $159. High definition screen. Works with uh, VR Airhog. glasses. And you can control it with your smartphone with the VR glasses. So really, really sort of a cool device for very low money and high definition. So you steer it by looking at the VR glasses. That's really cool. There. A um, couple other cool gift ideas. Um, the AI devices are selling like hotcases, you know, Echo and the new Google Home are selling like crazy. Google also has re released a whole bunch of other stuff to go with their home system that they were already selling on the Echo. Yeah. That tied into the Echo. So those are those are the big gift uh, ideas for this year. And I know that there are a lot more than what I talked about. but Those, those are, are the cool ones. Those are the ones that people were yeah. talking about. I mean, if you listen to the, the buying podcast and all that kind of stuff, that's what they were talking about. Um, we're back to, you know, things that you want to have in yours. Uh, some of these may or may not be in some of the other ones. Like, for example, you can set up a world clock appointment in Google. So you're here in the United States, and your partners are in London or in Germany or in mm -hmm. Hong Kong or wherever. Right. You can set up a, a calendar clock on there so that you can sync up your synchronize your appointments that makes sense. to get online. Okay, so it's like five then, hours there right. here in, in London. Right. So that allows you to set up a meeting time that works for everybody. Yeah. That's sort of a cool thing, especially if you're far flung. And again, Google Google's all over the world, so they're most of the countries yeah. in the world. Um, you can set up so that the names of those meetings show up. So right. you can have a there's a checkbox that you can set up so that when you type in um, when you add people to your meeting and invite them, mm -hmm. when they check off that they're coming, right. they now show up in the calendar. Hmm. Okay, so that's sort of a neat thing to have. Okay. I usually write their name in it, but with this yeah. checkbox thing, you don't have to do that. They show up in the calendar. Um, cool. Talked about the interesting uh, calendars like holidays and all that kind of stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Um, it says something about managing your social media with your calendar. Well, I was still talking about just the things that are built in it. Oh, here's one of the last ones. Uh, Google releases all kinds of experimental stuff. They have beta plugins, if right. you will. And there's all kinds. I mean, if you go and look at them, there's a lot of really cool ones that you can get. Sometimes it's picture ones. There's all kinds of things. But those are free. They're always doing that. The other last two is Google is highly integrated with a lot of other people's products. Right. So if you have a CRM like Zoho or Salesforce or something like that plugs in, mm -hmm. there are lots of applets that plug in. Mm -hmm. So if you have a CRM and you send an email to somebody, you can have that email automatically stored in the, in the CRM, the, the Customer right. Relations Management Program. So those, those are really important features. I know that Outlook has those features in it. Mm -hmm. More than likely you can in, in, uh, download those into the Apple iCalendar also. Mm -hmm. Um, but those are just a minimum a gauge of things that you have. Right. In the article, I talk about you know, both uh, Outlook and Apple, but there are links on there to a lot of articles right. right in the article itself that you can go to and read about, you know, if you're a, an Apple person, mm -hmm. you know, instead of just talking about Google here, you can do Apple and also Outlook. A um, couple of things, though, for managing your, your calendar, a couple of tips that are worthwhile. Uh, create a routine. Right. You know, when I come in in the morning, the first thing I do is I bring up the calendar, see what the heck's going on, make sure, 
any appointments I'm going to have them. Do I need to call them again or yeah. anything like that? Uh, get a routine that you work on. Try and group certain types of things together. Right. Like if you're going to do a bunch of phone calls, make all the phone calls in the same time right. slot or something like that. Uh, if you got a bunch of meetings, make a bunch of the meetings back to back if you can. Uh, make them in your same in the same location if you can. A lot of times when I'm doing one to one meetings with people, I'll go to like Panera's right. and I'll schedule three in a row. So I'm back to back and I'm living in Panera's. Okay, sir, you have to leave that's now. That's right. You haven't bought enough food. Get the heck out of here. Um, I would also tell you to, there's some things you could do because again your calendar is tied very closely into your email system mm -hmm. because you can invite people with the email right. system and so on. Make sure you put filters in your email system because there's a lot of junk mail. Right. If you're not having to deal with the junk mail, you save a whole bunch of time for doing other things. Um, That's like one of the things that I do is, you know, I'm, I'm not, like so many people spend all day on Facebook. I do sure. it once a week. <laughs> it's enough for me. Yeah, I, again, <laughs> some of these technology things can eat your time. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, and the calendar usually doesn't eat your time but email is one of those things that right. they could suck your life away. And so is social media for that matter. Of course, I mean, I'll yeah. talk a little bit about that in a second here. But make sure that you, you put big tasks in there. Make mm -hmm. sure you prioritize mm -hmm. tasks. You know, use some kind of system, one to three, one to ten, whatever. I, I use one to three. You know, a one is like it's got to get done. A two, if, if it gets done great. And a three, it, it could be done tomorrow. Right. You know, <laughs> that kind of thing. So prioritize tasks. Take big tasks and break them into smaller tasks, mm -hmm. and then prioritize the smaller tasks also. So those are things you can do. Time slot everything. Right. Time slot everything. All one-to-one -one meetings, all your work, social media work, all those kinds oh, yeah, of things. I couldn't things. get anything done if yeah. I didn't have everything blocked off. If I didn't time slot stuff, I, I would be SOL. I mean, that was nice too. Is it? It'll also give you uh, like it'll give you like a ten-minute warning. Yeah. So like with well, you can actually set how many minutes you want. But I was saying, the default minutes. is 10 minutes. Right. You know, so it's like 10 minutes, and you think, and you look over it a couple of times, you know, it's like I've, I've got like standing appointments, so I look at it and say, oh crap, I gotta go. Yeah. Especially when you're doing video work, or you're writing a blog right. or something, you know, the, it's like a black hole for time, right. you don't even run. And it actually stops you. When mm -hmm. it comes up, it stops. Yeah. Well, it'll, stop. it'll jump onto the screen. Right. right. And you can't do anything until you right. say, okay. So that's really a useful thing. And it'll also go through your, your watch right. or your, your, it, your it smartphone. Goes, it'll, it'll give you the same Right. It, on my, so, on my, my yeah. Garmin, it comes up and says, hey, you got an appointment. Yeah. So that's a cool feature. Now, here's the thing. You can also make sure that when you invite somebody, that it does that to them too. Right. <laughs> so that's sort of a nice thing to have. Um, if you're managing your social media, um, calendar all your social media work. Yeah. Uh, uh, because if you don't, social media is one of those things that's like a black hole. You start... Yeah dabbling in it before you know it's three o'clock in the morning sure uh, as far as the networking your calendar stuff what you really need to do is make sure you you network lunches mm -hmm. because if you're not eating with somebody you're, you're wasting that right. one to one time that's a great time for doing right. one to ones uh, you also need the calendar time to do research and write your 60 second presentations and all mm -hmm. those other kinds of things uh, a calendar can be really your friend. You can schedule out all kinds of stuff in the future, and if you're not doing those things, you're going to hurt yourself, uh, especially calendaring one-to-ones. Right. So not only just your events, but one-to-ones, because one-to-ones are really the things that produce the results yeah. more than the events themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so that's all I really got for the calendar and stuff. It's one of those things, if you use it, it can make right. a huge difference in your life. If you're ADHD, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's this is the tool that can really help right. you. Um, we're about the time to get to the worldwide weirds. Okay, so well, what we got going? Well, you know, I mean, we've, we've heard about all the mayhem that goes on in the stores. You yeah. know, on Black yes. Friday and so stuff like that. Walmart people were. But apparently, each other. it isn't just relegated to stores. Because here's one I, I caught today, which I thought was kind of weird. It says a woman shot her boyfriend after he rubbed her face in pizza. It's like you know, food fight, bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who won that it was argument? somebody who got shot for stealing, a, for taking a parking space. Oh yeah, in a, a lot Walmart of that goes this on. year. Yeah, you get a lot of road rage going on out there. I know it's really getting crazy. You yeah. know, it's a parking space. Yeah, but but here here here's a word of warning. Okay, in your, in your personal relationships, okay, don't rub pizza in your girlfriend's face if she's got a gun. Okay, <laughs> rule number one. Yeah. Or <laughs> if she's got a big knife. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Speaking either. of guns, here's one you'll want. 
This is something, it's, it's a gun that takes down flying drones, and it's actually a pretty, pretty wild looking thing. Let me shoot I get a shotgun picture. shells? No, actually it shoots just, a, it's basically, it's, there you go, right oh, there. A, it shoots an electromagnetic right. beam. Yeah, and they said it can take down a drone for more than a mile. Wow. So that sounds like something that would be... You could probably cool. stop, stop your car. Well, you? yeah, but I mean, you see all these kids flying their drones around, right? it sounds like a good sport, you know, bang, 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 you know, it's better than shooting ducks, right? Go to the beach. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, people have these things all the time, but it's, 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 it's a Darth Vader-looking kind of thing. Well, I had seen one that you could buy these shotgun shells, yeah. and when, when they shoot, these nets shoot out, and they get tangled yeah, yeah, up yeah, in yeah, the yeah, thing, yeah. and they bring But you're not going to shoot a mile away. No. Yeah. I mean, this thing, you can see it, you can take it down. Right, you can you shoot, you can shoot maybe and, 50 yards. Yeah, and they said that this isn't, you know, like for hobbies or anything. This right. is going to be like for law enforcement, you know, especially when, when you got parades and all kinds of big groups. Sporting events, you right, know. Because you that's one of the things the terrorists haven't used yet is drones, but this is coming. That's right. That's what be in one of my, in one of my predictions. Yeah. For 2017. Yeah. Somebody's gonna use one because that's all you gotta do. Right. They're, they're gonna they're gonna put barricades up so you can't you know like the guy Drive yesterday in. drove right. in and ran somebody right. over. They're gonna make so you can't do that. Mm -hmm. So now they're gonna have drones coming in and crashing in on you. Yeah. The, the terrorists, you can hear me say that. Of course, right? of course. Here's the other way that they could protect them. Did you see this yeah. one? Oh, yeah, yeah. I actually saw that on TV the yeah, other these, day. There's these huge battling robots that literally you get inside and drive, and they're, they're trying to turn it into a sport, a spectator right. sport. Yeah, the, the, I was watching, what was it on? Um, a lot of the new uh, console boxes right. have pre-made video channels that have nothing. They're internet channels, right. right? And I clicked on one of the tech ones. And it brought this up. Yeah. You know, pretty cool. I mean, it is. It's kind of crazy because, you know, these th and, and, and they're popular actually... popular science channels, what I'm yeah. looking at. Well, and, and like I said, they're planning on turning this thing into an actual sport. And they've, apparently they've got some people that want to get into these things and run them around and right. duke it out. Well, they, they already have battle bots and a whole bunch of yeah, them, but, but they're not like they're this. They're remote control. I mean, this right. is one big enough that literally you put a driver inside. Right. The, the first couple of these that I saw that were big like that, they were remote control. Right. Them. Because they they arms are you know you can rip the arms off. Yeah, well they, 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 these things. Were, I mean, this one's shooting something out of it. Yeah, it actually has two. Um, what do you call it? One is a air cannon. Right. And the other one's a hydraulic cannon. Right. And you put these big balls in there. Right. And it shoots them out like two hundred miles. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get hit in the head with one yeah, of those. Yeah, it would take you out. Well, it's like you know you see people at like the hockey game getting hit with a puck or the baseball right. game hit with baseball, but those things aren't traveling that fast. It's like a baseball man. If it hits you, yeah. it'd probably kill you. Kill you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, here, here's another kind of weird thing because you know they, they especially during the holiday season they, they do all these things just, just strange ways of raising money here's one that says people paid cards against humanity more than a hundred thousand dollars to dig a hole yeah and apparently you know they they collect they it was one of these they collected a whole bunch things. of money and they only did was just dig a hole yeah and then they said well we're not sure how much they actually spent to dig the hole but the rest of the money they can keep so I think we're in the wrong business Hector and it was even weirder. Well, it was a guy, remember, who, who made okay. mashed potatoes. No, no. It was the, um, <laughs> wasn't mashed potatoes. It was the potato salad guy. Yeah, he made potato salad, and he raised a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Okay, and here, here's what's weirder, okay? And they wouldn't accept our, our fundraising. But things. understand something. Here's what's even stranger. It says, the previous year, the same company sold BS on its site for $6 a pop. It says, and consumers should not have been surprised when bovine excrement actually arrived at their doorstep because it did. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, so I'm right. You can sell BS for money, folks. Yeah. All right, here we end. Wow. Again, we're in the wrong business. You gotta instead of talking BS, you gotta you gotta sell BS. Yeah. Hundred thousand dollars to dig a hole, and I'm sure it only costs about a thousand dollars to dig that hole. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, so they made a nice chunk of change. It just, for, it just shows you crazy. that there are a lot of really stupid people. I know. We, we, or, or maybe maybe they're really smart. Maybe the guys that are coming up with these are really smart. And well, I guess we're in the wrong business. Yeah. So anyway, we got about sixty seconds left, Hector. And do you want me to share one more? Yeah, one more. Okay, you, you've seen potholes, right? Right. Well, here's one in in Japan that opened up across a six lane highway and actually like, sucked the highway into it. It's not a pothole. It's like a. It's a chasm. It's like, it's five six lanes wide and about ten cars long. Yeah, and you can't really see the bottom because it's full of water. Right. But it literally dropped ten feet at least before uh, you even get to the water. And, and like that, just closed out a major uh, thoroughfare in Japan. I imagine that if uh, down in Miami there's six lanes. Yeah, you, know, you can hit that, and all of a sudden, whoosh. yeah, <laughs> be like the end of the world. I know we don't have much time. Speaking left. Of the world. I want to make sure <laughs> that uh, uh, for the listeners, you go out there to the notes page. There's lots of links 
There's lots of really useful articles if you're wanting to get into calendaring. Club WQ members, uh, check the Dropbox. Uh, I know it hasn't gone out yet, but it'll go out tomorrow, and there's even more stuff in that. Uh, for next week's show, we're going to do It's a Black Hat Christmas. Are hackers in your stocking? All right. Yeah. So until next time, guys. Keep working the web to win, gang. And watch out for giant battle bots. Talk radio. Goodbye.